Hello MechWarriors, how is it going? And welcome to another episode of MechWarrior Online. Today guys, we are taking a look at the Howl. The Howl is the legendary Timber Wolf, and it's the first legendary that I'm actually playing ever. And I really do like that thing, because first of all, it's a Timby, and secondly, it can run a build. It's even quirked for a build that I really like, and that is Advanced Tactical Missile. So let's take a look at that thing. We're gonna take a look at the quirks before we go over the build here. But yeah, uh, when looking at this. First of all, we have a 30% Siebel bonus on the Legendary. That's quite nice, but not really relevant for our build options here. But we have a Missile Velocity bonus of 20%, and then an ATM Velocity bonus of 20%. So we have a 40% bonus for ATM Velocity, because ATM is also a missile weapon. And then on top of that, an ATM Range bonus of 80%, which is absolutely fantastic, because that means we can shoot our ATMs at longer ranges, but still deal good damage. For all of you who don't know how ATMs work, look at the damage diagram down here. As you can see, there are some steps in there, which means um, our missiles will deal different damage based on the range of uh, our target. And, you know, between us and our target, you know? So, the lowest damage we can deal at our maximum range is uh, one damage per missile. Then we have a midsection of two damage per missile, and the close range is three damage per missile. And I think, as you can see there, maybe you can see it, it's very, very tiny here. There's a little dead zone where you deal zero damage, and that dead zone is, I believe, 60 meters. So if enemies are too close to you, your missiles will not engage and will deal zero damage. So you try to juggle the distance between that, again, I think 60 meters to, what is it, 200-ish, 300-ish meters, where you deal the maximum damage of your missiles. We are running three ATM-9s, by the way. This is the maximum amount of ATMs you can shoot in a single volley without Ghost Heat. Ghost Heat is a thing that is a balancing factor, so you don't boat weapons and just Alpha Strike all the time. So, um, yeah, 27 missiles, each dealing three damage. Our Alpha Strike is really good with this. But we need to get somewhat close without getting too close. Um, in order to not get too close, we also have some support weapons here. I was going for heavy machine guns. We have four of them. They actually uh, weigh quite a lot here. It's a half a ton per machine gun. So we invest two tons and then a ton of ammo. But I think it's kind of important. First of all, our ATMs have a good shredding capacity. So we can take armor away relatively quickly. And then our heavy machine guns can just shoot into the juicy inner parts of the enemy. And machine guns are really good for crit seeking. So you can maybe make an ammo explode or just take their weapons away by just critting them out. But on top of that, it also has a psychological factor. If the enemies are getting too close to you, you just pepper them with the machine guns and they might flinch and just get away from you. So you can then shoot your missiles again. That's the idea of the machine guns here. They only have an optimal range of 120 meters, but let's be real. Again, these are point defense weapons. They are not really part of the build, part of the main build. In order to bypass ECM, we have a tag, so um, enemies are not, um, not, not on our sensors. How do I say that? You know, we can target lock enemies by tagging them. And in order to reduce sensor scramble, if enemies are getting close, enemies with ECM getting close, we have a clan active probe on that. But... Here's the cool thing about this build. I think this is the most exciting thing about the Howl in general. It is not an Omni mech, it is a battle mech, which means we can change the engine, we can change Pharaoh and Endo and stuff like that. So it's very versatile when it comes to um, managing the weight of the mech. And that's what I love. It also has jump jets for, you know, some Pop-Tart capabilities. Look at it, uh, look at the second game. You will see it in action there. And a mask which gives us a nice um, mobility boost so we can peek out of, his, of our cover, shoot our stuff, and then get back to cover. And uh, I think this is just fantastic. It's really, really good. One thing I want, really want to quickly mention here is we only got five tons of ATM ammo, and that is not a lot. You will actually see me struggle with that in the second game. So what I would do is probably take a jump jet out and get one more ton of ATM ammo in. That would be uh, probably a better build. Now, in terms of skills. We are going for maximum cooldown so we can shoot as often as possible. Uh, obviously, since we are running a missile build... Um, oh, I didn't go for high explosive. Ah, ha, ha. I forgot that. All right. Uh, but yeah, missile rack, missile spread, high explosive, that's all the goodies you want to get. And since we have a bit of an exposure time because we have to lock onto our enemies, I think skeletal density and armor hardening is pretty good. On top of that, we're going for maximum speed tweaks, so I can get into position close to distance relatively quickly, so I can get into my desired uh, position. And I would probably take the two heat shielding out here, because you don't necessarily need that. But lift speed is very interesting here, because in order to peak, we, we probably want that elevation rather quickly, so therefore our 
our jump jet tree is uh, a little bit triggered today. I'm gonna go with uh, seismic sensor because I want to know how many enemies are around us in close range. And then, because I had the points left over, I'm gonna go for a maximum radar deprivation. Uh, also, target decay. Really helpful if you want to maintain your locks a little longer. Especially when you peek out, shoot, and go back to cover. Then you can maintain the lock a little longer so the missiles, while they are flying, can still seek their target. On top of that, double UAV, pretty good, because, you know, getting locks before the enemies know that you are there is fantastic, so you can drop that, get a lock, and then get out and shoot your stuff, again, minimizing the exposure time. And after playing a bunch, I realized you definitely don't need cool shots. <laughs> I don't think it's necessary. So these points can be put into this year. Let's go for some artillery, getting some extra damage out and scramble the enemies a bit when dropping the red smoke on their heads. So yeah, guys, that's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. As always, if you have that, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alrighty, guys, first game of the day. We are playing the Mining Collective and we are playing Domination. Beautiful. So my goal is to be relatively quick into the Echo 4 area. I don't think I want to necessarily go NASCAR, but I want to meet up with the Assault Max and, and that's my battle plan here. We are decently fast at 83.6 kph, so that should be totally doable. And if we are too slow, we can bump up, up to 107 kph. I love that mask. It's so good. It's going to be really good for peaking, you know, getting out of cover, back into cover, turning around quickly. Yeah, and then, I mean, we also got these guys here. Look at that. Look, mom, I'm flying. I can jump. And quite a lot, actually. Quite a lot. So, meeting up with the Assault Max. Uh, we have accomplished that already. That's good. And I think I want to... Wait, what, what? 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 You're going to the right side. I mean, uh, are you hunting down a single enemy there? I think I saw some laser beams on the right flank. I don't think that's a good idea, necessarily. I mean, we are somewhat safe here, not being in the center, but our poor friend down there, the dire wolf, is gonna have some trouble. Um... Yeah. Wanna quickly see if there's something... Yeah, laser beams are firing already. You know what? These guys are taking the long route. I'm gonna stay close to my friend here. Well, that's a problem. Um... Yeah, let's go. Give him a bit of a shot. I know that we are not hitting, but I wanted to give him the missile warning so he is getting away from that area. Cool. So, missiles are already flying. Quickly chair. Oh, there's a lot. Okay. Come on, let's go. Whoop. Get the missiles. Missiles have been gotten. Uh, actually, that Vapor Eagle should be our priority target. Hello, mister. We probably destroyed a component here, or somebody did. I don't know if that's doing anything. It did. He's lagged now. He's tagged and lagged, and now he's gonna go down. Eh, not quite. But you know what? I'm okay with that. Uh, UAV up here is a... There's a... There's a... There's a... There's a... Group that, the what? All right, let's go. Zap! I should have shot the missiles first. But you know what? Why is he here? Why is that Fafnir here? Why am I here, by the way? Let me get out of here. Let me... Let me try to move up here. Oh, there's ATMs coming. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. We want to probably go back to the Fafnir? What? How? I know that lots of UAVs here. Lots and lots of UAVs. Where did the Fafnir go? Heat vision. Is he down? No, he's there. Oh, behind cover. Let's dumb fire this. We can. We don't have to wait for it. Machine guns? I don't know. Uh, yeah, so somebody killed him. There's a guy behind me. Ooh, turning around, getting team cohesion again, and we go for the Centurion, which is already dead. That's the Vapor Eagle from earlier. Uh, I kind of want to get him. Is he going to jump up again? Ah, nah, let's not go for it. Let's go for the war emo. Emo? Emo? Emu. Emu. Moo moo. Let's go. Um, Stalker half dead already. It's a legendary Stalker. Ah, machine guns. I don't know if we can get that guy. We can certainly try to get another volley of missiles out. A bit of premature fire here. But I think it's fine. The Vapor Eagle behind us is getting already pushed. So let me go back into the center of the situation here. Enemies were probably, yeah, circling around. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I got some damage in. Um, actually, I'm gonna push him down with machine guns a little bit. This guy is seemingly overheating. Uh, Timby versus Timby, it's fine. <sighs> let's go for the flea. Actually, let's stay on the guy that we can kill. Like this guy. Six and two looking good. I, oh, there's a vapor eagle, a scatter shot. I love that we have such a good range of the ATMs, by the way. That's a kill, right? Come on, come on. Let's go in with the machine guns. Stay on target. Get the kill. Perfect. This guy down. Wait, actually? Hello. 
Uh, who's that? I see you. Yeah, the guy behind me as well. Uh, but let's stay on the cataphract. 60 meters is what we need. And again, we can do a little bit of this here, just pushing him back with the machine guns. I know that I'm getting peppered by the other guy, but this guy is too close. Actually, too good to actually. Let's go for this guy. Let's go for him. Wanna do it again, Hellspawn? You popped the UAV. How are you still alive? I thought my, my friends took care of you. Ha! Huh. Obviously not. And now this friend is taking care of me. Oh, I was relying on the guy. Should have not. Should have not done that. Now I'm toast. Ah, oh, let's go for the cat. Let's stay on him. Finally, you got it, buddies. Good job. So, Hellspawn, peek out again. I'm waiting for you. Come on. I got one ATM left. There we go. <laughs> He's down. Oh my god, we almost got killed. Yeah, again, I, I saw a guy on the cataphract and I was like, okay, this is covered. The guy, the, the cataphract is half dead anyway, so I can turn around and do something else. But that didn't happen. So what did we do here? We got two killing blows, two kill, most damage dealt, 663 damage done. Sorry for the team damage. Destroyed five components as the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alrighty, guys, second game of the day. We are playing the Termaline Desert and we're playing Conquest. I don't know if I should really go to Theta right now. It really depends on where my other big guys are going. It seems like we got a Cicada, we got a Mad Dog, Wolfhound Crab, Haramoto. I don't know about that setup. Oh my god. I mean, we seem to be really light on tonnage here. Uh, let's see. There's a Blood Asp on the right side. Um, yeah. You know what? I'm gonna stick to the left flank here. Uh, seeing if I can get anything, anything done. Let's see. So enemies are probably coming from this ramp and, and this ramp, right? Like complete opposites. That's a disconnect as well. Oh boy, that doesn't look great to be honest. Uh, and yeah, we are, we are a little bit scattering here. Um, Is there a safe spot anywhere? I don't want to get hit by long range right now to be honest. But you know what? To counter long range, we gotta go close. That's, that's it. Whoop. We have the jump jets, which didn't have enough uh, padding here. All right, so we actually took some leg damage, but our light mechs need some support and I'm gonna give it in form of some ATMs if needed. Enemies again, probably Echo 6, um, Fox 6 maybe, uh, depending on if they wanna go to the low ground and keep their heads in cover for the first phase of engagement. There's a guy, ah, it's a Hellbringer. He has ECM, so it's kind of hard to lock onto him. Um, at the very least without my tag, which I couldn't really bring onto him. And yes, I don't want to really peek against those guys. See the laser beams? See the PPCs that are flying right now? I have a lock on time, they don't, so they instantly shoot. Uh, no. Not like this. Okay. Not like this. Alright, let's try to find an angle. UAV? Anything? Oh. Oh. Anyway, I, I, I think I got hit, right? I mean, somebody was shooting. I don't think I got hit. Somebody was shooting me. From the right flank? Maybe? Who knows? Alright. You know what? I'm going in here. Ah, they have a UAV! Ah, lock onto it! Burp. All right, good. That was pretty decent. I'm gonna pop my UAV here. 800 meters. Oh, there's a guy. See, that's what I mean. That hunchback put a lot of hurt on me without me being able to do anything. Let me see. Shoot above. Got some damage in. My UAV is still doing some work here. Uh, Seismic tells me that it's just a timber there. Should have probably waited a little longer. Rup. Hey, that's damage, baby. I'll take it. And we're gonna go in again. Our cooldown is ready. And, and that's it. I don't want to go any further. Or wait, maybe? Yeah, we got him. Perfect. That's a kill. Hey, look at that. Oh, that's a narc. Ha! That's even better. Yay. Cool. Somebody's narking. That is fantastic. It seems like we have a push on the right side going on. So let's do it. Okay, get down again, try to break the lock, and then we go for the Mad Doggo. It's also running AT freaking apps. Ah, sorry, I wanna go back. I wanna go back. Ugh. Was stuck here for a second. Supernova coming in. Probably not gonna go for me, but for my friend, because he's a bit closer. Proximity is, uh, is a great uh, prioritizer here. All right, Viper. These, no wait, it's not a Viper, it's the Mad Dog actually. We destroyed a component, love to see it. Got some criticals here. But maybe a kill? My legs are not looking great, to be honest. But let's go. Hellbringer coming in. Uh... Oh, the artillery. The artillery here. 
I'll drop a UAV here because I want to know if somebody's coming around. Mm, and yes, we're gonna go for that Hellbringer. Let's go. Got some damage in. Oh, not me. Ah! Okay, I'm in good range here. He's on my friend instead of me. We need to do it with the machine guns now. Actually? Alright. So. <laughs> what a messy fight, though. Who's that? 1400 meters. Oh boy. Oh boy. These guys are far away. And you know what? I might. Yeah. Tactical missiles. I can shoot at that range. That's way better, though. Uh. Yeah, we don't get the angle. Also, that was an assault mech, uh, but we have some fast movers aside of me. You can say that aside of me? Like, right next to me. Uh-oh. Whoop! Um, yeah, the supernova is gonna lock onto me now. But yeah, the missiles, they are doing the work. We don't have to worry about caps right now because we have the upper hand on uh, that. Okay, ammo is getting low. Stay on the shadow cat if we can. Heatsink destroyed as well. Yeah, this is what I mean. I mean, uh, this all peaking situation is way better for the enemies. Are you coming back? Shadow Cat? Probably not. Alrighty then. So, Hadamoto, do your thing. Uh, please tank, because you're a sold. I know, you're not really a proper assault, I guess. Ah, here we go. Yeah, somebody else has the attention of the supernova. Now we have clear shots here. Bop, 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 bop. Come on. Good. He overheated. On the cat. Right side twist, if possible. And I'm gonna try to jump to maintain the lock. Which we did not get. Data is being decapped, so maybe we should go there. This game is far from being over, by the way. And I wish I had another UAV. I really wish I had it. Where's the cat? It's below me. Uh, he's not aware. He should be now. Uh, problems. Ammo is empty. What? I thought I had enough for certain engagements. It seems like I don't. But we have machine guns still. Can we do it? <laughs> yeah, you also got machine gunnies. Ah, the kill steal. Oh my god. So, eight and four. I mean, I'm a stick and I totally didn't bring enough ammo. I, I was not aware. I honestly was not aware that that wouldn't be enough. Alright, so... I guess I told you in the build section of this already. Come on! Oh, Alright. I gotta go around. <laughs> Screw the jumping. So, yeah. Probably heatsink. Um, or more. Fire starter. Pew, pew, pew. We can tag him. Good. Down they go. There are some missiles coming from that area. Was it friendly missiles? There's a sniper somewhere. Sniper is somewhere, yeah? <laughs> That's right. I mean, I can't get myself killed here by running into the Huntsman with streaks. <laughs> Alright, keep him spotted. There was another guy right next to him, I guess. On the other side. Correct? Pew, 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 pew. We got all the caps. The game is gonna be over in a second. The Parvoski is that's the guy. Uh, but yeah, we ran through all me. of our missiles, so that is. Oh, that's the sniper they were talking about. Interesting. Um, yeah, we had a lot of ATMs on our side as well. I think the Matok was running some. We have a Matok here with LRMs. Oh no, all of them are LRM, right? Yeah. Is this a? This is a pre-made. Ultron and and who else? Ultron and Grandmaster Irby? Ah, I don't, I don't know. Wait, I have nothing to do against the night. Maybe I... Never mind. No. Game is over because we capped like a boss. So, damage report. Let's take a look at that. I really like the mobility of this thing here. I kind of like an ATM-27 build and I'm very happy that we can make it happen with the Timberwolf. Great, we got zero killing blows. We were very close on the Shadowcat though. But we got 4k MDDs, kill most damage dealt here with 824 damage done, 495 taken and uh, 7 uh, components destroyed. That has been it for today everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you did then don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.